Camper vans are practical for those out there who want to avoid the time spent setting up a tent or a caravan just to bed down for the night. Throw in the ability to cook dinner safe from the elements and being able to take care of things inside when Mother Nature calls and you can see why they're an option. I'm Reacher and with that in mind, we're bringing you 10 camper vans you can take wherever the road may lead. Number 10. Considered compact by European standards, the 19 and a half foot long city suite hides it well in its practical design. This newest model from Italian-based Wingham is built on the ever-popular Fiat Ducato chassis, having a surprising amount of space to move around once inside. It starts with the lounge area in the front. The bench seat and extendable table, coupled with the rotating captain's chairs, provide room for four people to dine. Directly opposite is a small kitchenette having a dual burner cooker, a sink, and a 96 liter refrigerator. The bathroom sits across from the side entrance. Inside is a swiveling cassette toilet, a basin sink on an L-shaped countertop, and a wall-mounted shower. The rear of the van houses a double bed running in an east-to-west configuration. This can raise and lower as needed, providing extra room for the garage space below. Number 9. The eye-catching two-tone paint scheme of the Kepler 60 is an obvious throwback by Westphalia to the VW campers of the 60s. And we're okay with that because it will never stop looking cool. Built on the Transporter T6 chassis, the layout looks straight out of a 1950s diner employing the same color scheme as the exterior. Across from the sliding door is the kitchen having a stainless steel flush mounted dual burner cooker and sink next to an inset refrigerator hidden under the countertop. A removable table can be mounted to the side of the kitchen counter providing room for four people to dine using the rotating captain's chairs and the rear bench seat. This bench seat can slide using grooves in the floor allowing it to lay down flat and serve as a double bed. The pop-up roof has another bed that raises hydraulically when not in use, providing a much needed standing room. Although there is a hookup for a shower head in the back, the lack of bathroom facilities delegates this one for use on shorter trips. Number 8 if you don't agree that this one has the coolest name of any on this list, then you weren't around during an era when cartoons were at their awesomest. Based out of Canada, Nomad Vans is one of the many companies specializing in custom-built van conversions. The one seen here is a showcase model they've nicknamed Yabba Dabba Doo. Opening the sliding door finds a front lounge area with a small wall-mounted dinette table. There's room to seat up to four people using the swiveling captain's chairs in the cabin. A pull-out shower head is located in the doorway underneath the mini fridge. Above this is the kitchen with a sink, a single induction burner, and a freezer mounted under the cabinet. The bed is a drawbridge style having a hinged panel that folds down in an east-to-west configuration. When not in use, the panel is raised and the cushions are stacked on the counter beside it. This four-season van was designed exclusively for those who like the outdoors as can be seen by the space in the back big enough for two mountain bikes. Added features include a water hose for spraying off outdoor gear, an air hose for bike maintenance, and bags on the back doors for holding more gear. Number 7 the Avanti M from La Strada could very well be considered an entry-level model when you take into account the compact size at just under 18 feet long. But in that space, it still manages to provide everything that its bigger counterparts offer. Although it's promoted for couples, it can seat up to four people in the lounge area slash dinette. Behind this is a spacious wet bath with a sink, a ceramic swiveling toilet, and magnetic double doors. The passenger side kitchen sits opposite, having a dual burner cooktop and stainless steel sink, along with a 50 liter mini fridge down below. 
The rear of the van houses a full-size bed in an east-to-west configuration, hiding plenty of storage underneath, accessible from the inside or the outside. I'm Allie, and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time. By looking at just these images, do you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Number six. Since this one comes from a Dutch company, it only makes sense that it's built using a Volkswagen Transporter T6 chassis. They offer two models, the Van and the Van XL, both having roughly the same features, with the XL running about 16 inches longer. The roof is the standard pop-up for extra headroom and sleeping space. An added feature is the roll-down panel in the front, which opens to the elements. Sliding doors on each side open to a lounge area with seating for up to five people. The kitchen is located on the driver's side, having a removable compressor fridge along with an inset stainless steel sink and dual burner cooker. The side of the cabinet raises to serve as a makeshift table with extensions on each side. When the door is open, the cabinet has the ability to swing out, allowing it to be used outdoors as well as freeing up space in the van. The rear row of seats can slide the length of the floor on a set of grooves, adding to the usable room up front or creating a space in the back large enough for a set of mountain bikes or even a small motorcycle. The bench seat also converts to a bed, but instead of laying flat, it flips to use the back side for a smoother surface. This, along with the bed and the pop-up roof, provides sleeping accommodations for up to five people. Number five. The newest of the new from Slovenian-based Adria is the Twin, a high-roof style camper van offering 13 different layouts and three models. The 640 SLB Supreme, which you see here, is set on a Fiat Ducato chassis, having a length of 21 feet and a width of six and a half feet, while the inside provides a standing height of just over six feet for the almost standard layout. The cabin has two captain seats that can swivel to pair with the lounge seating, offering room for up to four people at the adjustable dinette table. Directly behind this is the bathroom, which has a swiveling wall that allows for it to be used separately as a toilet and vanity space or as a shower. Directly opposite is the kitchen, having a 90 liter refrigerator and an inset stainless steel sink and dual burner cooker. The rear of the van has fixed twin beds which can be made into a double bed with extra sleeping accommodations available by converting the lounge into a sleeper. Number four. Another of the van modification companies is Mod Vans out of Ventura, California. They've done their due diligence on converting a van and it shows in their Ford Transit-based CV-1. The first thing that stands out on this one is the pop-up roof. When raised, it provides a standing height of six and a half feet in what would normally be a low roof van. Maneuvering inside isn't a problem as the second row of seats can be moved and installed against the driver's side wall to increase the usable space. The kitchen takes advantage of the extra space, having a large cabinet on the opposite wall with a dual burner cooktop, a basin style sink, and a mini fridge down below. There's room to sleep up to four people using the bed in the roof, along with a bed in the back that installs over the cabinets. Number three. This next entry is every bit of what van modification should look like. The aptly named Next Gen from Oregon's outside van is a bit of retro style coupled with features that will probably be seen in camper vans in the future. It starts with a 170 extended dually Mercedes-Benz Sprinter designed with all the heavy features between the axles for safety and control. Across from the sliding door is an extra row of seats for another two passengers. Behind this is a fully enclosed shower made from aluminum panels. 
A roll-down weatherproof curtain with zippers on each side ensures the water stays inside. The galley includes a mount for a Vitamix blender, an inset induction cooker, a sink, and a 150 liter double compartment fridge freezer down below. The rear of the van has a bench along the passenger side wall for extra seating. Directly across from this is a set of fold down bunk bed cots mounted on the van wall. A detachable soft wall with a zip down door can be attached to separate the living area from the seating in the front. Electrical power comes from a series of three roof-mounted solar panels feeding two 360 amp hour batteries. There's also a 110 volt outlet under the hood which allows the vehicle to charge an e-bike while in transit. Number 2 the demand for all things camper van, motorhome, and RV related isn't just relegated to the pavement only crowd. The appeal for vehicles that can go off road is creating a market that is growing as well. Lexani Motor Cars out of Corona, California is one of many manufacturers catering to the higher end of luxury and quality with models like the EXTV Kalahari. Built on the easily recognizable Mercedes Sprinter chassis, the exterior upgrades include 33-inch off-road tires on in-house designed rims, a full-length roof rack with LED light bars all around, and a large front grille guard spanning the width of the vehicle. The fully customizable interior offers features both practical and upscale, having seating arrangements for multiple passengers which can convert to beds as well. Galley options range from a small sink and mini fridge all the way up to a full-size kitchen. The van can also serve as a toy hauler by folding up the bench seating in the rear. Other amenities come in the form of ambient LED lighting, multiple storage cabinets, and flush-mounted TVs. Number one. Coming back to production after a handful of years is the fourth generation of the James Cook model from Westphalia Mobile. Built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, because Germany, this one is going to have three body variants. The one seen here has a pop-up roof that serves as an extra sleeping space, accessible via an opening over the lounge area. This serves as a dining area as well, using the swiveling captain's chairs and the large wall-mounted table that can seat four people. Behind this is an enclosed wet bath having a toilet and sink with a faucet that doubles as a shower head. Across from this is the standard kitchen having a flush mounted stainless steel sink and dual burner cooker. Below this is a 90 liter fridge utilizing a door that allows for it to open from either side. High fives for the people who thought of that. A new feature existing on all the models is the rear slide out. It opens electrically in under 40 seconds extending out the back of the vehicle. As the van has a length just over 19 feet and a width of 6.5 feet, this extra space allows for a dedicated bedroom area around 7 feet long and 4.5 feet wide. Now that you have a moment to calm down after seeing all of these, feel free to leave a comment letting us know which one you would pick. As a side note, when it comes to camper vans, the price is usually debated the most. Do you think they're worth it? Let us know that as well. I'm Reacher, your friendly neighborhood nomad and we'll see you on the next one.